Hey everyone, what is going on? I'm back and we continue to work on the inventory system. In this video, we are going to use a simple material and a post-process volume to create an outline effect on our items that can be picked up, as you can see here in the preview. If you have any questions or tutorial requests, leave them in the comments below or join my Discord. So yeah, let's get started. Open your inventory project and then let's add a volume to the game world. Search under all classes for the post-process volume. Then click on the volume and search for infinite and click the option which appears here. With this the volume will affect the whole world and we don't need to extend the volume manually. After that let's create a new folder called misc and a new material called m underscore outline. For the outline effect, you can go to YouTube or Google and search for the specific outline you want. There are hundreds of them and I won't be doing a new one. Instead, I will use the outline effect from Matt. If you want to know more about how the material works, watch his video. He is a great explainer and knows a lot more about materials than me. I will link the video in the description. If you just want to use the material, you can download the text file from the video description. Open it and copy the text. Then go to your material and paste the text in. It should give you the material from Matt. If this doesn't work for you, you can slowly go through the video and build it yourself. Or go to the video from Matt. Now click on the output node and set it to post process and connect the lerp to it. Then search for blendable location and change it to before tone mapping. Back into the world, click on the volume and we add the M outline to the post process materials. And now we need a trace that always checks for items on the ground in front of our view. Go to the character blueprint and search for the begin play. Here we want to add a set timer by function node. Set the timer to 0.1 and set it to looping. After that, add a custom event. I call it start highlight trace and add the sphere trace for objects node after that. For the start of the trace, add the follow camera and get the world location. For the end, pull the forward vector from the follow camera and add a multiply node to it. Also add a add node to the location, like so. After that, convert the second multiply input to float by right clicking on it. Add the camera boom, get the target arm length from it and add a float to it. This will be our trace length. Connect everything up and change the draw debug to for duration. For the object types, I use world static and physics body. Next, we want to connect our custom event to the timer we did before as in delegate. This means the timer starts the function for us. Then break the head result and create a new interface which will be used to communicate to the items. I called mine bi underscore item interaction. Create the function start outline here. After that, we need to refactor our item system. For this to work, we need a new master item that is child from the old master, which I call a underscore sm underscore master sm because it will have a static mesh inside. Open that and add a static mesh to the components and add the bi interaction interface to it. This static mesh will be available in all childs, so let's set here the simulate generate hit events to true and the collision preset to custom. Make sure Pawn is set to overlap and the object type is world static. Go to the event graphs and search for the event start outline from the interface. 
Make sure to compile before you do that if it doesn't work. Then pull from the static mesh and search for the set render custom dev node. Set it to true. Then add a retrievable delay and set the render dev after that to false. After all of this, we need to create a child from our new a underscore sm master and create one for the weapon, for the armor, for the consumable and for the resource in order to get the hover effect for all of those. Make sure to copy all the settings from the original actor to the new one. And from all the new masters, we can create the items. For example, here the A underscore SM underscore W underscore sword, which will replace the actor underscore weapon underscore sword. Copy all the values over. Set the mesh and copy the location. You can also copy the settings with right click and paste them. Compile and save and then we can test the new weapon. Oh, and I forgot something. Go back to the third person character, add a branch after the trace, and from the hit actor, cast to the new master A underscore SM. And from that, start the outline event. Test it again, and now it should work. Let's also do it here for the X. Copy all the values. And don't forget to copy the impulse logic. Go back to the world and pull the new X in. As you can see, the item is now outlined. And now it's your turn to do that for all the other items. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.